Hey, we're back from outer space. Uh, it is time for an unboxing, so let's get to it. Love that opening. Hey, it's been a couple weeks because that's how deliveries have been. But we're back. We've got some unboxing. Uh, we're going to start with a diamond box. We're going to go kind of slow so that people can go, oh my god, there's an unboxing video today. Yep. Invoice. Ah, the first important thing. Yes. We actually had to turn the heat on in the store today. So as everyone knows, you've got that first gentle smell of burning yeah. as the heat systems warm up and empty out. And this is Star Wars The Mandalorian, The Child, a 16-month 2023 calendar. Hey, Zach. <clears throat> hey, Zach. We have the official Horizon Zero Dawn Peach Momoko poster portfolio. Well, I'm pretty sure I know who that's for. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> That's it for that box. Okay. Heard some football happen this weekend. Oh, uh, no, don't start it. <laughs> Listen, I got to give the chat something to talk about. I mean, it's only Zach right now, as far as I can tell. So. Oh, God. Wow, that is... Just show that to the camera. <laughs> There's no so, way. Not. Yeah, I didn't do this. <laughs> this is how. Can they see it? Yeah, yeah. A, a little bit. I, I don't dare lift it up right now because it's full of comics, but it looks okay. <laughs> it gets rough, y'all. You may wonder sometimes why do we have shortages. Well, <clears throat> this is why. Collector's Edition, Star Wars, The Mandalor Mandalorian, Guide to Season 2. A just in time for the spooky season, we have Rue Morg. Is it? It is not glow in the dark. Uh, issue 209. And then... Through the Eyes of Fortunino Matania. I'm sure I butchered that. Let's see. In August 1914, much of Europe was pitched into a war which would eclipse all others in terms of its industrialized ferocity. In an era where photography and film recording were still in their infancy, much of the news was relayed through the work of reporting, reportage, artist, reportage artists. Preeminent among such artists was Fortunino Matania, who was the sphere's artist on the spot for events ranging from coronations to col Colliery disasters. I'm so sorry. <laughs> so this is not a war photographer. This is a war illustrator from World War One. That's pretty incredible. Yeah. Hey, Wheelchair Superhero. Good to see you. Hey, friend. And to answer your question, Crash, the... Uh... I think it might be the worst box we've received. We've definitely received some damages before, but I think this is the worst box. It doesn't necessarily mean it's damages. The small things can do far more than something like that. Yeah, you'd be surprised. And tots. Hey, tots. We have Illustrator Blank for... It must be issue number one. Of Alpha Betas. Yes, issue one. Cool. We have Sacrament 305. We have a different cover for issue number one of Alpha Betas. Immortal Red Sonya. We 
one out of five of the abolition of man. Okay, gonna have to flip through that. Yeah, for sure. <clears throat> Archie Horror, one shot, Fear in the Fun House. Issue 15, Silver Coin. A phone call, hang on. Ninjago, Carmageddon. Issue five. We got Hellboy in Love, issue one of five. <clears throat> Deadly Neighborhood Spider Man. Issue number one. Vampirella Strikes, issue six. The Walking Dead Deluxe, issue something, issue 49. Crypt of Shadows, issue number one. It's a lot of characters I would not have expected to be yeah. together. Let me see these covers. Miracle Man, The Silver Age, issue one. Frank Frazetta's Death Dealer, issue number six. Shirtless Bear Fighter, two, issue three. The Marked, a 3D Halloween special. And this does come with 3D glasses. All new Firefly, issue number nine. A critical role trade for Tales of Exandria, the Bright Queen. I just got a little protecty on it. <clears throat> Immortal Red Sonya, issue number seven. Apparently, Tots has been looking for issues mm -hmm. for issues of Death Dealer. Oh well, you're in luck. Yeah. More Walking Dead. Eve, Children of the Moon, issue one. <coughs> Excuse me. Umbrella, Star Wars, Darth Vader, The Shadow in the Fire, issue twenty-eight. Mortal Red Sonya. 10,000 Black Feathers, issue number two. Gunslinger Spoon. Come here. Hey, that's our replacements for Junkyard Joe. And they made it this time. Yeah, they kind of got all hit last time. Yeah, so. that was gnarly. Yay. And Minor Threats, issue two. I think also a replacement. Uh, 
remember seeing the title, I think. Seems right. Sometimes it is hard to remember. We look at quite a few comments every week. Considering the shape that this box was in, it could be a lot worse. I think just leave them outside the box at this yeah. point. The box isn't doing much. And <laughs> the box is not so much a box anymore. Pounds of Young Avengers. Oh, goodness. Big book. up with Marvel or Diamond stuff so I don't get it intertangled with Penguin. X-Men Legends. I think this is a replacement from last week. Seems like it. Yeah. yeah, it's nice that replacements tend to be quick. Star Wars Bounty Hunter. That was last week. <laughs> uh, Hyper Aware. No, week before last. Okay. Hyper Aware issue number... Oh, it's one shot. Another cover for all new Firefly. And issue number one of Aza the Barbed. Which I think might also be a replacement because I remember that title. Yeah. Okay. And we got a bunch of Sonic the Hedgehog, issue number one of Scrapnik Island. G.I. Joe, 299. This is cover A for G.I. Joe, All American Hero, All In, Part 4. This is very cute. <laughs> and then here's cover B. Oh, hold up. Hmm? Bring it in close and slowly bring it out. No, it's everyone enjoy my hand as we try and fix why the autofocus is focused not where it should be. There we go. Hey, we're back. Transformers, best of Grimlock. <clears throat> Looks like he's peeking over at the end screen. <laughs> Crashing issue number two. <clears throat> True Cult, issue number three. That's a guy dead in the, floor, in the desert. Yes. And a retailer incentive cover for G.I. Joe 299. Very cool. want to do the game we have quite a few people sure let's do the game <clears throat> so we've got a weird little box and you know what that means it's time for the haven guess how many comics are actually in this box game give us a number of how many comics how many individual comics you think are in this 
<clears throat> now your prize is bagging rights and getting your comment featured. Bagging rights, yes. You get to bag Yeah, uh, I said bagging rights? <laughs> yes. I'm tired. I don't want to be here. <laughs> oh, no, it's fine. All right. I'll don't, wait until don't we get let numbers. Don't let them see it. Yeah. I, I don't see any guesses. Yeah. We have two guesses. Wheelchair, you want to join in? Anyone else? Feel free to just drop a number in chat. There's only one box today, so it's nice and easy. I say go ahead and let's go ahead and get started. Okay. Got, both Zachs are excited for it. Uh, it is two. Two oh. trades, which I count as comics. Two trades, sadly off, but I'll let I'll give Tots a, a run because he put I zero, tried. but I think he cheated. <laughs> I think he saw it and was like, "Oh, that's not a comic," but he was wrong. It was a comic. This is for Tim Burton's *The Nightmare Before Christmas*, Zero's Journey. Zach is arguing. He says, but how many comics does each trade cover? <laughs> <laughs> and Tots is defending himself as a cheat. <laughs> <laughs> he has integrity. If he was cheating, he'd go to, he'd go to uh, Twitch, which is faster, so he could see the answer before he had to yeah. guess it. He's restraining himself. Yes. <clears throat> Excuse me, y'all. This giant uh, weather temperature drop does a number on you. Moon Knight, number 16. I like that one. X-Force, number 33. A lot of it, of Oh my goodness. We're not even open. It's just a lot of potential spam. Yeah. Star Wars, Darth Vader, variant edition. Crypt of Shadows. Star Wars Darth Vader, 28 variant edition. This is Star Wars 45. Shang-Chi and the Ten Rings, issue number four. Oh, yeah, it also could be because we turned the heat on. It's going to be a little dusty in here today. Yeah, that's honestly probably a lot of it. Although I don't think the heat turned on as well. We're getting so many phone calls. Yeah. Uh, Defenders Beyond, issue number four. <coughs> Captain America, Symbol of Truth, issue number six. Iron Man, issue 24. That's a lot of inside each other fighting. I'm not sure what's happening there. Uh, Ultra close combat. <clears throat> More male Croman. You saw that one earlier. More Crypt of the Shadows, same cover. Alien, issue number two. I'm going to give you some adventuring tips and just hygiene tips in general. If something's leaking black ooze, don't touch that with your bare hand. 
just don't. Like, even in normal, boring, non-corporate nightmare space that we live in, uh, don't touch black goop with your hands. At least put on a glove. It's okay. What could possibly go wrong? Yeah. Piece of tape. Nope. Abstracted. Tots, are you? Do you think it's fun to touch black goop? He said, "Boo, no fun." <laughs> and I don't know if that's uh, if that's fun. Alabama has enough super fun sites. We don't need <laughs> Toss wants to go play. And he, you said they're super fun. To me, super fun always sounds good. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know. I wonder where that name came from. Probably a lot of marketing. <laughs> Probably because it takes a lot of money to fix. Mm. Yeah. yeah I'm, but I mean... Companies probably really didn't want to be called, oh, dang, you fucked up. <laughs> Midnight Sun, issue number two. Tots, I believe that's what uh, face huggers do, is get you attached to the symbiote. <laughs> to the symbiote. And they find you. You don't get the option. <clears throat> Issue number three, Predator. No, put that next to the alien book. It's the only thing that can help. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It'll at least stop those people from touching the black goo. I mean, honestly, what if the Predator is just an interspace? HR. Uh, not, not HR. Um... Not OSHA, but like one of those cleanup crew companies. We are but tiny seagulls, and they are just want to wash us in Dom soap. <laughs> <laughs> of our own blood, I guess. Uh, listen, <laughs> it's more of a containment procedure for the rest of the universe. Maybe it's the other way around. They want, they're more worried about us getting on the black goop, so they're yeah, containing yeah. us. Yeah, so what I'm saying is the predators are the Dawn soap of the <laughs> galaxy. Uh, Earth's Mightiest Heroes, The Avengers, issue 61. A bunch of Star Wars, Darth Vader. It's the same cover we saw before. Now can I get in the other box? Damn it. Thor, 28, fighting Venom. That's a lot of Thor. X-Men, number 16. More X Men. A Moon Knight sixteen. Yep. Hang on, more Moon Knight. Oops, all Moon Knight. And then more Deadly Neighborhood Spider-Man, because I guess he is evil. I mean, maybe he actually cleans up New York because he stops letting them repeat yeah. offend. <laughs> it's like Batman. Like if you just stopped putting them away and sort of dealing yeah. with them, would that have helped Gotham? Yeah, like not all of them. Some of them, like, first of all, fix Arkham so it actually rehabilitates people. And then, like, just the Joker. Just, just the, the repeat Joker, offenders. Just the Joker, really? yeah. Uh, 
<laughs> you know, send him to a, a clown farm where he can. You get play three with strikes, him. then you're dead. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly. Uh, but favorite book, what or book of the week? Ooh. What's your pick? Uh, oh no, there's a lot of books. Well, I'm gonna well, go with for the spooky season. I'm gonna go with Rue Morgue. And, Mike, I, and I'm going to bring in this one because it was weird and interesting. <clears throat> uh, I took a quick flip inside. It's like reading a comic through classical art. Okay. And so it's an interesting, weird little thing. Intriguing. But that's it for today. Um, keep an eye on our social media because we will be participating in a local comic shop day, which is going to have a very exciting um, 8 Billion Genies tie-in where you can get a blank cover with a genie template and draw your own genie. Uh, and that can be entered into a contest to win fabulous prizes for both you and Haven. Um, also join us just about every Thursday night at 7 p.m. for our uh, shop talk uh, video chat, uh, where store owner Josh and a guest, and maybe Alan is the host. Maybe not Alan is the host. Maybe he's got something to do that night. You don't know. Uh, having fun and talking about comics and geekery in general. Um, please join the Blurred Syndicate for their Drink and Draw with Jeremy Bernard. Hey. And um, I believe it's on Mondays now. Please join Tom Price as he does illustration and does a cool illustration and tells you all about it. And, and he keeps doing really cool things. Yeah, and so. he keeps doing really cool things. So you, all, you absolutely want to keep your eye on him and purchase his art. Uh, other than that, have a wonderful day. If you're in T Tennessee Valley, stay warm. It's cold. <laughs>